Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL P7 which is having to do with similarity rules and triangles. Okay, so these problems are just a series of problems where they give you two shapes, much like the rest of the IXL P series. And just like the other IXL P series problems, uh, all you really need to know or understand about similarity is that one, all of the shapes need to have the same angles, right? Same angle degree values. And two, all of these sides are going to be proportional. So it says the uh, similarity rules up here, but I'm not seeing any similarity rules. Maybe some problems later on will have some, we'll see. Um, but maybe this is an IXL where you just go through problems without similarity rules. You kind of get practice for eyeballing it. Anyway, so uh, this, question is simply just asking are these triangles similar okay well we don't know anything about the sides so we're gonna look at the angles here so is angle U and angle S are those two angles the same 31 and 35 no so therefore the triangle is not going to be similar they need to be the same for all three angles so no are these triangles similar well, it has the 90 degree and oh, but that one's 66. Well, that one is 60. So no. 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 37 and 40. No. Let's see, 30 degrees, yes. 39 degrees, yes. And then that means our missing angle has to be the same because all three have to add up to 180 anyway, right? So, yep, they're going to be similar. Now it wants you to write a similarity statement. Okay, well, this makes sense now. So remember when you write a similarity statement, all of the letters have to match up. All the corresponding angles and sides have to match up. For instance, we know angle uh, angle F and angle V have to be similar. They have to be the corresponding uh, angles. And so for the left side of our statement, I'm going to put F as the first letter. And then for the right side, I'm going to put V as the first letter because F and V are corresponding. They're both 30 degrees. So now I'll write V for the first one here. Okay, now for the second one, it doesn't matter which you do, um, either the left or the right. I'm going to go with the number that's filled in already. So we're going to go with H on the left side, which means we have to go with T on the right side. So we'll add an H. And then over here, we'll add a T. And then we're just going to finish it off with our missing angle. So on the left side, it's going to be G. And on the right side, it's going to be U. These have to match up, right? You can't just write them in willy-nilly. They have to match up between the left and the right side. So we're saying triangle FHG is similar to VTU. Okay, and submit, and that is going to be correct. Cool. Okay, so now we get to sides. Um, are these triangles similar? Well, let's see if the sides are proportional here. Um, well, perhaps, but it looks like we are better off uh, doing the similarity or the uh, proportion ratios. So we'll do that. We'll go over here. Okay. So to do proportion ratios, we just got to decide which sides we want to compare. And so let's do the base for both, which is going to be 36 and 38. So we'll do the base of the left over the base of the right. So 36 over 38, which means we got to do a side, set that equal to a side over the left over the same side over on the right. So if we look at this triangle, it looks like, uh, let's say UV and ED are going to be proportional. They are related to each other. So we'll go 48 over 55. So what? I'll do at least first is multiply them together just to show you what that really means. So we'll do 36 times 55, which is 1980 and set that equal to 38 times 48, which is 1824. Are these two things similar? No. Right? They don't equal each other. They're not the same. So therefore, the sides are not similar. The sides are not proportionate, meaning the triangles themselves cannot be similar if the two sides you're comparing don't come out to be the same value. So that's going to be a big no. OK, 
Okay, are these two triangles similar? The angles are all different, so no. Okay, so once you get to problems like this, up to at least a smart score of 49, they're gonna start introducing the similarity rules to you down here. So remember, you have SSS, SAS, and AA, which would be side, 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 angle, side, or angle, angle. These just mean that if you know that all three sides between two triangles are, uh, the, are proportional, that the triangles have to be similar. If you know that a side followed by an angle followed by a side that both triangles share is revealed, uh, and they are proportional, then the uh, triangles are similar. Or if you know two of the angles, right, between both triangles, so angle, angle, and angle, angle, and they are the same, then you also know for sure that the triangles are going to be similar. Okay, and then lastly, you know, if they're not similar, you gotta say they're not similar. So immediately we see we have an angle, I'm sorry, a side followed by an angle followed by a side. Uh, we go to the triangle over here, we do a side, angle, side. So it would be side, angle, side. But what we need to do first is to make sure that the triangles are actually similar. And so how do we do that? Well, we will just do our proportion statements, our ratios, and see if it works. So we'll do the base of the left over the base of the right. Set that equal to the height of the left over the height of the right. Okay. <clears throat> and then you can either cross multiply or you can just reduce um, each fraction down. So last time I did the cross multiplying, this time I'll just reduce everything down. Okay, so we'll go to this side and we see this side is 36 over 32. If I reduce both of them, well, let's reduce all of them by two. So we'll cut everything in half. We'll have 18 over 16 equals 27 over 29. Okay, can, can we reduce these down into anything uh, similar here? Um, not really, right? I mean, we can reduce this down by another half, but over here we can't. We can try to reduce 27 down by nine or by three, but 29 is a prime number. You can't take anything out of that. So it's pretty much stuck there, right? So we're gonna say that these are not similar. So eh, they're not similar. And if you wanted to prove this, you could do 18 times 29 equals 16 times 27, and you're not gonna come up with the same number. So what we'll do is we'll do 18 times 29, which is 522. And we'll set that equal to 27 times 16. And that is gonna be 422. 32. So again, not the same. So not similar, which means it's going to be none of the above. They cannot be proven similar. It would be SAS if the size were proportional, but since they are not, we cannot say they are similar. Okay, which rule explains. Okay, so again, it looks like side angle side, side angle side, but we have to actually prove it and make sure they are similar. Okay, so we'll do the base over the base, 48 over 32. We'll set it equal to the height, so 72 over 48. Okay, left over right equals left over right. Okay, so um, again, we can either reduce or we can uh, cross multiply. I'm gonna choose reducing again this time. So on the Right side, you can reduce by a factor of eight. So we'll have 48 equals 32 equals 72 divided by eight is gonna be nine. 46 divided by, or sorry, 48 divided by eight is going to be six. Okay, and what can we do with our fraction on the left side now? Well, uh, we can do four, right? So we'll do 48 divided by 4 is going to be 12 over 32 divided by 4 is going to be 8. And that's going to equal 9 over 6. OK, 
hey, can we, can we reduce these in any other way? Yes, we can. On the left side, we can divide both sides by four. So 12 divided by four is going to be three. Eight divided by four is going to be two. And then we can do three over here. So nine divided by three is going to be three. And six divided by three is going to equal two. Does three over two equal three over two? Yes, it does. So we have just confirmed they are similar. So that is going to be side angle side. Because again, we know through side and then an angle and then another side and they're proportionate that the triangles are indeed similar. So side, angle, side. And now we gotta do the proportion ratio. Okay, I'm sorry, not the, the similarity statement. Okay, so we'll go um, from our first side to the angle to the second side. So for the left side, we'll do S U T S U T. But now we have to do the exact same thing for the right side. So we got to do G, F, and H. So we'll do G, F, and H. Because remember, the uh, angles that correspond and the sides that correspond have to be written the same place in the similarity statement. So that should be good. We'll click Submit. Okay, cool. Are these triangles similar? Uh, well, we have 48, 44, 33, so that's going to be a no, different angles. Okay, uh, which rule? So this would be side, 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 right? Because we have the three sides between both triangles. But first, you got to prove if they are similar or not. So you just set up your proportion ratios. So I'm going to skip that one. Okay, you have two similar triangles. What do we know about them? Well, we have a side, angle, and then side. We might be saying, well, we don't really have an angle here. It's invisible, right? So how can we use side, angle, side? Well, like this. If the triangles are similar, that means uh, angle T and angle V are going to be the same, right? Angle S and angle U are going to be the same. And angle W and W are going to be the same. So we know these two are the same already. And therefore, it doesn't matter that we don't have a number value. We already know these two are going to be the same, right? They're also vertical angles. You could think of it that way, right? They're uh, angles at the opposite sides of the intersection point. They're vertical angles, so they're going to be the same thing. And so we know this, this angle is fine. So we can do side, angle, side, and then side, angle, side. And then if we can prove they are uh, proportionate, the sides are proportionate, then we would choose side, angle, side. Okay, and does not let me go any higher, so that is where I'm going to end the video. Stay safe, take care, and I will catch you for the next IXL tutorial video. Goodbye.